Hi there, my name is Adam Porsche. I'm an engineer in the product development group here at Lakeshore Cryotronics. Uh, what we'd like to illustrate today is some extreme testing we do as part of our product development process. Uh, I have here the 648 electromagnetic power supply and what we'll be illustrating are some tests that we run to, main to ensure that the uh, unit is not damaged and remains safe to the user. Uh, again, this is part of our design verification test that we run and uh, again, this is for illustrative purposes only. Please, please do not try this at home. The first test we're going to be running is applying a short across the uh, output logs. Currently, the instrument is outputting 135 amps DC into a half ohm load. So this will be a fault condition where uh, we apply a short to the output terminals. Again, what we're looking for is that no permanent damage occurs because of this. Again, this is a fault condition. The purpose of this test is to verify that the power supply isn't permanently damaged if the load is suddenly removed. Uh, right now we have the power supply outputting 135 amps DC into a half ohm load. What I'm about to do is just simply yank the lead off that will simulate the fault condition of removing the load. For this test, we've hooked the 7 inch electromagnet back to the power supply. Um, the purpose of this test is to ensure the uh, power supply isn't damaged if a, uh, a loose connection comes into play. So basically, we've attached this terminal block here in series with the magnet leads coming out of the power supply. This gives me a controlled area to jiggle the lead and make sure that uh, I'm at a safe distance. So again, right now the unit's um, outputting 135 amps DC into the seven inch magnet. And again, the intent is to assure the power supply isn't damaged by jiggling the uh, magnet leads. In the case the fault condition occurred as a result of the jiggle test, our intent was to show that the power supply wasn't damaged in any way and that it would resume normal operation with a power cycle. As you can see here, it powers up and it's ready for operation again. Again, remember, these tests were only for illustrative purposes. Do not try these at home. We simply wanted to demonstrate our rigorous uh, design verification tests that we run to ensure the quality of the instruments and the products we make.